I hate that I have to even do this video. I mean, it's just this propaganda scientist again. I mean, they can't... It really is just so tragic that even scientists can't display a little bit of fucking integrity. You know, so these jackasses work in government research, but they have their own private labs that they're also all connected to, and they all want to sell us some sort of grand cure for something eventually. And a lot of this is good science, so don't get me wrong. This isn't that this is not good science. This is just goddamn propaganda, the way they've released this stupid result and called this synthetic life. I mean, it's just... It says synthetic life. I mean, it's just such bullshit. I mean, they haven't even come close to creating synthetic life. Um, and it just, this is, like I said, I could, I was watching the guy, this, the head scientist guy talking, and I'm saying, why is this guy so passionless? And I'm saying to myself, oh, I know why. It's because I guess they had some sort of meeting, and he was probably on the losing side about exactly how big a, a showboaty, bullshitty propaganda this, they should all be, and about how they promote this shit. Um, because this rhetoric doesn't match the fucking goddamn truth, the reality of their accomplishment. Um, all right, so let's just get it straight. Um, they basically read the DNA sequence of a, a, a very crude form of life. Um, they put the DNA sequence into a computer and basically just rearranged it, okay? I mean, the, the computer had to come up with some... It didn't just make up new DNA. It didn't just pull DNA <laughs> out of the eye, you know, just put an A here and a G here and a C here and don't even bother worried about any kind of structure. No, that didn't happen. It just created a new variant on what the computer program knew were components that had to exist in the living organisms that it had indexed. So it created a new variety, a new mixture uh, of, of how the, the DNA sequences are arranged and then in some key locations it put in its own garbage DNA, its own junk DNA, and all organisms have junk DNA, and they put in some junk watermarks, um, you know, with their name and address and phone number and, you know, how hot a date they are or whatever other bullshit they wanted to put in there, what sexual positions they are their favorites. Uh, you know, these scientists with this ego thing, too, i got to put my name inside of the organism. It's just so fucking lame. Um, but anyway, uh, so, so, and then they took this DNA and put it into a dead organism. I mean, they pulled the DNA out of the nucleus and put this new DNA in, which isn't much more of a, an accomplishment than, you know, the, 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 the gene manipulation that goes on now, where they take the DNA out of a cell and replace it with other DNA, create clones and do other things that way. So, I mean, it's good science, it's, and don't get me wrong, I mean, the fact that they were able to make a DNA, a chromosome, uh, that actually could function in another organism, you know, a chromosome that they had completely grown out of a concept of chromosome, um, is great, fantastic. But this is nowhere close to a synthetic life form. I mean, the, the, the part of the... the, the the, 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 the thing that makes life possible isn't a DNA molecule. DNA molecules don't just sit here and all of a sudden they just go, I'm going to split in half and create another organism. You know, and it just splits in half and a whole new cell develops and creates all by itself. It just doesn't happen that way. There's a whole bunch of machinery that maintains <laughs> chromosomes, all right, and that is, is splits them and copies them and... Um, you know, creates the whole infrastructure that allows the new DNA to, to survive in the environment, that creates a membrane that's pervious to the right, um, you know, substances so it can feed and it doesn't get killed. And, I mean, there's a, this is a long, long way from creating a, syn a truly synthetic life form. All you've done is create... It's like replacing the dashboard on a car or something. I don't know. How, how do you even analogize this. This is like making a mechanical hand, okay? This is like this is like Darth Vader's mechanical hand. This is this is not creating a Darth Vader. I mean this is this is just oh I mean it's just despicable. I mean I've had like four or five people post me this fucking link like this is the most hey everybody blah, 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 we proved how easy it is to make a life form or something. No, not even fucking close yet, assholes. This is just this is 
the next logical step. This is a glow-in-the-dark cat. This is not synthetic life. Um, so, God damn you people. Fuck you. Ugh. I mean, this is just, this propaganda is going to echo for another couple of years now. There's going to be people five years from now saying, Oh, but they invented that fake living thing. No, they didn't. <sighs> Damn it. I mean, some other asshole talking about how life came from outer space, you know, and it's proven science, and ever, all the scientists believe that life originated in outer space and came to Earth. I mean, this is just such bullshit. Well, then why haven't a whole bunch of other life forms come from outer space and landed on Earth? Why aren't we just covered with outer space bacteria? Oh, that's right, because it's a pile of shit. <sighs> you people are stupid. They found a couple of fucking amino acids, maybe, in an asteroid. Maybe. And, and I don't even know if that's true. Um, and you can't fossilize the, the goddamn fucking single-cell organisms. This is, this, is, this is an idiotic argument. I mean, not in... Not, not in this crude structure. I know it would have been interesting though. You know they have these stupid news things in this video they provided. Why don't you show us what the original bacteria, the little dead bacteria you pulled the chromosomes out of, why don't you show us what that thing looked like? It would be interesting to see whether the chromosomes had, the new chromosome had any effect whatsoever on the appearance of the new microbe. Or whether it looks the goddamn same, behaves the same, because basically you basically, your new chromosome was basically just a remodeling of exactly what the old chromosomes had in it. <sighs> Fuckers. So anyway, enough said. <clears throat> Fuck. It's just, it's just hopeless when scientists are propagandists, and that's what this comes down to. This is just fucking propaganda. She's synthetic life. <laughs> God damn, I mean, what an over-fucking-statement. Disgraceful.